What's up, Divine Feminine? Thought I'd change it up for you a little bit. You're probably tired of hearing that clown music, huh? You may be saying, she keep playing that clown, but we done threw their ass in the tent, so why we got to hear it all the time? So I, I thought I'd just switch it up for you a little bit. So, Divine Feminine, I previously was shuffling the cards, and the first card that flipped out was a great fortune. So, since you didn't see me shuffle, I decided to shuffle again. Just so you can see me pull the cards and tell you the story, what's going on with this great ass fortune you got right here. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go, all right? Ooh, right in a row, they fell out just like this, Divine Feminine. This is just how the fuck they fell out. And this is the house card. This great fortune is bringing you a house. Now, like I said before, don't let the naysayers in here, don't you naysayers be saying, I'm not going to get no great fortune. Well, where is that? You keep saying it ain't coming, so it ain't gonna come. If you want that house, even if it take two years, believe and have faith that that house is coming. But you gotta do something to get that house. You can't just say, God gonna bless me with a house. No, you gotta, if you say God is gonna bless you with the house, you go to the real estate company. You have everything, all your ducks in a row and go to that real estate place. Then you'll get the house. But he ain't going to just give it to you if you're going up there bad credit and all that shit. No, he wants you to work on it. He will bless you with it, but you got to put in the work. Okay? It's great fortune. See, the karmic energy that you was dealing with, they took you to court and they lost. You won. You got a great fortune. You got a house out of the deal. Now, if it's a divorce and you going through a divorce, you get the house. And you chilling in your foundation. Mm -hmm. This person can no longer keep you trapped, confined, locked up in a situation. They can't keep you in that bird cage. You see, the key is bigger than the cage. How the fuck they going to keep you locked up? It can't lock it, nor can it unlock it. It don't even fit. It can't even go inside. So how can a person lock you in something that they can't lock up themselves? This person may have a big ego, have, may think that they got the key to everything, but you didn't let them know. They can't lock you up no more because you got a great fortune. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this great fortune. Oh shit, here's some demonic shit coming around your great fortune. Somebody ain't gonna change. Somebody don't want you to move, so they throwing out some spell work at you. Towards your house. They don't want you to have a new beginning. That's these karmic energies. So whoever your karmic is, Divine Feminine, they don't want you to have this house. They don't want you to move. So they're throwing some sort of negative energy towards you. Because they don't want you to move or they don't want you to change. They don't want you to have a new beginning. But you got a great fortune. So that's all that matters. They can't keep you trapped no more. Everything is going to happen in divine timing. Everything will happen in divine timing. Yeah. 
this house will happen in divine time. It will come in divine time. Why? Because you got this great fortune right here. You see that? You're gonna be you're gonna be filled with, you're gonna have buckets of abundance. And if I'm saying buckets of abundance, don't look at the size of that bucket. You know the size of a regular bucket. You're like, oh, well, that ain't much. But it is what's in that bucket. You can have a whole bunch of pennies in that bucket and fill it up and it'd be heavy. You can barely carry it. But you can have a, um, a bucket full of crisp thousand dollar bills in that bucket. And carry that shit lightly. It ain't heavy at all. It's gonna be so light that it's gonna lift. It's lifting all of the weight off of you, baby. Yeah, that bucket gonna be so light. It ain't gonna be filled with no pennies. Mm. No. Nah. Let me more. Cause you got a great fortune. Even though somebody don't want you to change. Yep. And this is gonna be unexpected. You're not gonna. Ex you're, you're not gonna expect this, baby. No, you're not. <laughs> and the karma. For these karmics <clears throat> is to see you flourish is to see you enjoy your new shit that's their karma to see you in your great fortune to see your blessings to see your new beginnings yeah mm -hmm. to see your new house your new home your prayers are being heard but see, they didn't want your prayers to be heard. Mm -hmm. No. No, they didn't. Sudden wealth. I don't even need to go no further. I don't need to go no further. You got, look at this shit, Divine Feminine. Sudden wealth. Look like a bobblehead. Unexpected income. Great fortune, but all in the middle. Somebody don't want you to move. Somebody don't want you to relocate. Somebody don't want you to have no new beginnings. They want to keep you trapped in the cage, but they can't because now you can buy your way out of the bullshit. Yeah, and you can move if you want to. Mm -hmm. But remember, everything will happen in divine time. All right? Remember that shit now, Divine Thing. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Because this is looking like you already threw that karmic in the tent. Hmm. You threw his ass in that tent. I'm going to have to make the tent float with a different bounce. All right, Divine Feminine. Peace out.